Man, fifty. Fuck what you have, man. That's my my. What is my goddamn? Bro, I don't know what to call them, bro. Like my my like my brother. Like, and I don't play around with that brother word. Like, that's love. You know what I mean? Like, I fuck with that. Nigga. I love that nigga to death. That nigga love me to death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it ain't nothing but genuine love. You know what I mean? Ain't never stood nothing to gain either. Like since I first met him, but he, you know, he got them 110 percent. Got my best interest at heart. You know what I mean? And what what is the million me. dollars worth of game that he gave you before? Oh man, um, bro, plenty. I get it every time I talk to this nigga, bro. We'll hop on the phone just to holler for a couple seconds, be on that bitch, hang that motherfucker up, that motherfucker hour, 27 minutes, shit like that, bro. Yeah. Um, most importantly, like I'm gonna tell you, okay, so. And, and this more pre, this more recent too, so it'll resonate. You know what I mean? Right before I I recorded Shake Something, all that new shit I just dropped, all that shit, he got them called me. Really, my people from my team they hit me and they like, yeah, fifty wanna uh fifty wanna get on the call today. Fifty wanna get on the call today, but it's my team telling me fifty wanna get on the call today. You know what I mean? Like I always talk to bro directly. You know what I mean? Our relationship is is me and him. So I'm like, okay, what? I'm like, bet. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, come on. Let me know when and let me know when we jumped on the call and shit. And he like, yeah, we need to have a, we need to go out to Interscope and have a meeting. I want to come. We need to go to Interscope and have a meeting. I want to come. I want you to sit down. Damn. I, I, I want to sit down and you identify all the departments. You know what I'm saying? What, what all the departments do so that way you can utilize them when it comes time for your releases and shit and you're not just putting your music out. As an established artist, you you not just putting your music out in ways that train the consumer to think, oh, when baby put something out, he just throwing something out there. He like, oh, nah, like you, you this. You see what I'm saying? So when your music come out, it got to be packaged the right way. These departments got to be doing what they supposed to be doing. They got to be doing what they supposed to be doing. And, and, to, and to the company's defense, because I told him right on the spot, like I, I held myself accountable. I'm like, I already, like, I already was aware of all these departments and what these people do, but I'm just such a goddamn boom, like head first type of motherfucker when it came time for me to get my, when it comes time for me to get myself up out of slump or when I'm, when shit go down for me, when it go up, I don't call nobody. Like yeah. I go up, you get what I'm saying? I do not call nobody. I don't know if that's like a survival thing or what, you see what yeah. I'm saying? But that's like who I am as a man. So I said that right there on the spot. But the n he say, we need to, we need to link up. We need to have a meeting. We're in the scope Have everybody Everybody in the building I already talked to this person This person Not to throw names out Not shout out Shout out to everybody man Shout out to Berm From in man Steve Berm And that's, that's my guy too I fuck with Berm A lot of niggas know Berm A lot of a lot of heavy hitters They know exactly mm -hmm. Who I'm talking about Big dogs You know what I'm saying So that's one of, it's, it's just great company To be in all together man But he He say We need to We need to link up Bring all the departments there And, and we need to identify them, see what everybody do, and then you get their direct line of context, and then y'all, everybody need to lock in, and you need to figure out how to package your music, put your music out, market it the correct way as in a, at the standard of an established artist, so that way you ain't training your consumers to just, why with all this bullshit going on with the media and shit, you not, you not goddamn falling into the trap of just throwing shit out there, training consumers to think, oh, it ain't no big deal when you drop, like, it's a big deal. You know, it's a big deal. We, it's not a lot of you not. Three, three, four days later, this nigga catches a flight. This nigga hops on the jet, comes out though. Goddamn, we meet up. He sits at the head of the table with me. We go all the way around the table. A lot of these people I'm already familiar with. It's probably a couple new people since I done been in here. I hadn't sat down and had a meeting like this in probably up over a year or so. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, before this time and shit. And goddamn, we we spent a couple hours in that bitch talking. You know what I mean? Identifying everybody. I like the same shit. Just not like it's you know I I hold myself accountable right on the spot in front of everybody for the for the people who I wasn't allowing to do their job. A lot of these people do be hitting me, do be trying to do this, do trying to do that. But me, like when I get in a position where I feel like okay, you know, fucking with fuck doing shit somebody else way ain't working, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it be my fault when I lose. I'm that type. Right. Like I want to lose at my expense. I want it to be my fault so that way I know how to fix it. If it ain't my fault when I lose, I don't know how to goddamn fix it. You see what I'm saying? Right. I don't know what's up. You know what I mean? If I ain't driving the car when that motherfucker f up, I don't know how to how to identify. Okay, yeah, it's it's the back left tire. I wasn't in that bitch when it hit the curb with that motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? So I got to kind of work backwards and figure shit out. And essentially, that's what I was doing, and it was hurting me. You know what I mean? It wasn't it wasn't working in a second. So right after that, right 
right after that. And it's and all of this is with good energy. None of this shit is with, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no right. walking in the building and everybody sit down, shut the fuck up type shit. This right. ain't that. Right. Like he's showing me the correct way to, to go about doing this because he's been here before. Right. And he's been here before as this type of nigga. Like as uh -huh. a controversial uh -huh. as goddamn, but, but having success in the music way more than me. Right. Coming in, 13 million records, whatever he sold, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, in a, this is the same building that he was in. Right. So a lot of these have been in Interscope working in this building since 50 Cent right. got on in this bitch. You get what I'm saying? Right. So they know exactly what he, he's giving exact stories. Remember when this happened and this happened, boom, 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 boom. A couple people in the room like, yep. And then yeah, yeah, boom, boom, boom. They, they everybody, the names, these niggas is in there dropping. The these niggas is talking. We in this bitch like this. It feel like we got them. Watching a goddamn Interscope documentary in this bitch, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Everybody in this bitch, it's something to take away from everybody in this bitch at the table. You know, what advice would you give a young artist trying to break into the game today? Um, I would just say, like, originality, like, being yourself is always going to make you stand out before anybody else. So following in other people's footsteps, I wouldn't. Uh, but as far as like, I don't know, being inspired by people, sh that's cool. And, you know, if you're inspired by something, you can always use that in your craft, but just not too much. Feel me? Like, but always build it because doing that, sh you'll build on your own sound, you know? Yeah. Like, and building on your own sound is always great. So, I don't know. I would just, I would just really just. Be on my own time, be myself, and 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 show my craft and and see if people f with it honestly, and staying in my own lane and, and minding minding my own business and f with whoever f with me. Feel me? Right. Staying out the way too. Right. And not trying to f not not getting. See a lot of artists when they put music out, they think it's just gonna blow right up, man. You got to really build that fan base up, man. One by one. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Every person, every, you, it's just, everybody looking for that microwave heat up, that shit don't work like that. Like you said, you was putting shit out. It was building a fan base, but then you said, you know what, I'm going to try some new shit. And that shit caught. Exactly. So and don't be too cool to be passionate about your work. People be too, too cool to, Really be as passionate as they need to be to really get to where they need to go. <laughs> For real. Absolutely. I be seeing a lot of that. And artists, they be trying to follow in other people's footsteps and stuff. And, and not like, I don't know, they get steered off. They blow up and then get steered off. I'm getting caught up trying to hold tight on what they got. But it's really like you got it. You just got to keep doing you. Right. Tremendously and building on this shit. You gotta build your legacy. You gotta remember this shit really like through through the ins and outs. You gotta remember the only mark you can leave on here is anything you you really put physically in the world. Like, cause once you gone, the only thing that you gonna have there is a tombstone. You feel me? And 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 that's not. You feel me? I don't know. That's not the goal when you trying to be an artist. You gotta put shit in the world physically. You got to touch people's soul physically, like, not just on some internet shit. Like, get into your craft. Like, really, really dig into what you got going on. Really go tap into them worlds that you trying to be around, and, you know, with the music, because I did it. I ain't going to lie. Like, when I was in Atlanta, I was going to all the little underground parties and shit and just experiencing Seeing what people was doing, I was an observer. I like to observe and just see what's what's going on. And I had fun too. I was talking and having fun and vibing, and, you know, chilling, meeting people and shit. But at was the same time, to yeah, I was willing to connect. But was it ever a time where you had a fight coming? Because they say before the fight, you ain't supposed to get no sex, and you got some sex anyway. Every fight. Oh, oh you still be getting it? Every fight. Damn. I bet you wasn't. You said it's man. I swear to God. So you never chill? Every fight. I don't know. I'm just I'm just different. Every Damn. fight. I don't put that on nobody else. Man, these young niggas break the code, man. They some see, cause I'm keeping all we real. Somebody that was bullshit made that up, man. 
They don't. They ain't no truth. Nah, man. I just look at Same. it like this. Some niggas get asked go score fifty five at night, man. Yeah. It's 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 a way you do it though. You know what I mean? Like I told, <clears throat> they all ask me. They all be asking me. All the younger uh, fighters, they be like, "Man, you still be like, yeah." I thought it'd like, take your legs. You know away. what I mean? Don't. Save your money, man. You know, trust and other stuff like that. Especially you got kids, man. And um, make sure you're doing the right thing with your money because this, this stuff can end just like that. I respect all that you're saying, but it seemed like... Oh, man, he sit here with Louis Sneaks yeah, on. No, 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 yeah. not even that. Oh, $8,000 fit, doing with the, the design. But see, this is <laughs> the thing, though. I understand exactly what he's saying, and he, you actually saying the right thing, but yes. it's like, if you don't have that sh- you're not getting that big fight. Yeah, you're not getting that big you, fight. They're going to look at you like, and you ain't this, nobody know you. Now, this text right off. Yeah, I know it's yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yo, see, you know the game. You look at it. Yeah. Point. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is though, like, you, you you could be a fighter. You could be good as shit. It's good ass fighters that nobody, the world don't even know nothing about. So you're not getting a big fight because they don't feel the bill as though you had a pay per view box. They're like, what does Instagram look like? They go right to your Instagram. Oh, you definitely they want to look at it. That's what it. That's what it attracts. It's like it's just like bugs. You know, the light attracts all the bugs. Yeah. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you got all the flashy, shiny things. You know you. That's what attracts it. That's the girls, the the kids, you know, everybody. They they want all that. That's what right. they're hearing for. That's why everybody look up to the rappers and stuff like that. For me, for me, I, I know coming from the environment we came from, you know, I think it's cool that y'all do that shit, you know, because you know, you only die one time, so you gotta live this shit. And and when you die, they not gonna put your money in the back of a U Haul truck and bring that shit behind you to the motherfucking gravesite. So for me, it'd be like Growing up where we come from, we looked up to the drug dealers. Yeah. You you give them an f- opportunity to look up to somebody that's doing something positive, but something legal. That's a false concept, though. Because, yeah, you, only, you die one time, they're going to give you money. But let's say I retired boxing at 36, 37. How many more years I got to live? We don't know. That's how many years, that's my how many point. years I think I want to live? I want to live until I'm that's 70, up 80, to God. 70, Yeah, but you want to live until you're 70, 80 years old, right? Hopefully, his mother checking out here at 29. So, 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 so let's, go, let's go to the club and spend all your money tonight then. No, 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 no. I'm not saying spend all your money, but what I'm saying is you got people out here that don't even enjoy their money. Yeah, oh, definitely. They, definitely. they, I'm not they don't even enjoy that, the fruits of, of that's working why I said, so hard. Never too high, never too low. Right. You got to say, yeah. you got to keep it in the middle, man. Yeah. You got to enjoy yourself too. But you got to realize, man, as you get older, man, I want to live till I'm said I'm I'm planning on living. I'm sitting 80 years old. You know, it's mm-hmm. all in the mind and what you think. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes, it is. You know, I'm living till 110. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to live for a long time. I'm trying to live, you know, my best life. As my mm-hmm. kids get grown and finish private school, all that type of stuff, they ain't dropping their kids off to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be gone somewhere. I'm gonna be an island. He said, "I ain't gonna make you play grandpa." He gonna be one of the people sometimes. But I'm gonna be no, hey, you man, I'm gonna be an island somewhere. I'm gonna like, "Hey, daddy, where you at?" Man, daddy gone. <laughs> <laughs> daddy on boot naked island off the Costa Rica. <laughs> For real. <laughs> he sitting here like, "Yo, Gilly's a rotten motherfucker." I know I'm man. telling the truth. He had to get yeah. mixed up. Oh, well, man, you needed that for your testimony, Wallace. And I went right in the cell, and I was. So wait a minute, when he grabbed you like that, he's he's holding you. What, what did you say back? I was like, "Hold on, no, ain't he, me." He tried to fight it. Oh, it was strong. He said, oh, wait. "He said, hey, don't fight it. Say the energy for making love." <laughs> no, after, that, after that white dude did the envy when he smacked you on the ass that day. He always smacks on your oh, ass. That happened to you. Do that. You grip your cushions up. <laughs> you grip your cushions. <laughs> Be a, oh, right man. on his cheeks, man. I just finished rocking the club, right? Uh-huh. So I'm walking out the club, headed to the car, smack me on my ass. Bow, good job. I ain't know what to say. He ain't playing no basketball, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, was shot. I ain't make no shots. He ain't make no shots. <laughs> That I know what to say. Gil. I was confused. You play sports. That happened to him all the time. I, I, I didn't know what to say. I, I, I said thank you. And I just walked out the club. Hey, they say they said every year on the ass. Every face got red. He started blushing. Oh. <laughs> what are we doing tonight? Thank you. <laughs> I told Envy stop being so honest. Oh. Pete Davidson was at the station last week. Tell him what happened. What happened? Tell him, tell him what happened. I'm going to read what Pete said after you tell him. Oh, shit. <laughs> you found out. What happened? Man. What happened? Come so on. Pete, Pete come in the office, right? I'm with, I'm with a young lady. I ain't going to say the young lady. I'm with a young lady in the office. So the young lady, when he leaves, she was like, yeah, I just met Pete. She was like, you know, the funny thing is when I seen him, I looked. I said, never mind. I said, what? You looked at his sweatpants? I said, I did too. You know, he's supposed to. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? You a measurer, huh? 
DJ Medjura. <laughs> DJ, <laughs> DJ no, this DJ is DJ Medjura. <laughs> I have the ruler on me. DJ Ruler. <laughs> this is your preference club. This is DJ what? Ruler. Oh, look, look at this shit, This what Pete texted me. He said, man, you and Envy had me dying today, bro. Tell him I stare at his fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Y'all listen, man. What I wow. Give me what I said. If he, if he, <laughs> every, <laughs> whoa. I'm secure my man here, man. I ain't even seen him. with y'all. <laughs> well, I said, I ain't had no shit like this in prison. <laughs> yeah, that's some prison talk, man. Oh, man. Envy having motherfucking, and Envy oh. having motherfucking there. After Breakfast Club conversations with the interns, did you see the print on Pete? <laughs> did you see the pop? She like, what's that? The print on Pete? Uh, the man got a 15-inch penis, man. The, the print oh on God, Pete. Man, man the pop you, man. is funny as shit. Did you see the, the pop? <laughs> did you see the pop? <laughs> Who the fuck just yelled that shit out? <laughs> Envy. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Man, you gonna be a meme. Nah, man. Be- oh, man. I'm secure on my shit. I'm oh secure. man. Look, he think just cause he got just oh, cause he got man. his woman. I'm secure with my shit. Yeah, oh, but you still can't say so about that. This man flirt with me every morning. You oh, think my I do? goodness. Damn. Man. Y'all motherfuckers is crazy. All people. I'm simply saying is what? This shit crazy. It's a blessing to be here. Bro. Absolutely. Yes, it is. Absolutely. So we won, man. I feel like you just should pop it. Uh, like, he like, we like we can we do no crazy. I say humble to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? But when you're 21, you got to pop it. And don't, and don't never let nobody finesse you, because I'm going to give you some game. A motherfucker tell you, stay humble, stay humble. You know what stay humble mean? Don't remind me that I ain't doing shit. Don't pop it, because when you pop it, I feel some type of way, because I ain't doing nothing with my life, and I was bullshit. So I'm telling you, yeah, man, you got to stay humble. That's some hate shit. Some t- Mother, you got to watch how people saying it in the vocal tone. I swear to God. That's some hate shit. Bro, that. that's a good way to put it. That's some hating sh- you man. You better stay humble. What the f- you mean I ain't supposed to celebrate all my work? You put the work in, bro. When you decided to jump on that motherfucking jet, that was a major decision. A work you put in when you said, I ain't going, I'm going to let this motherfucking opportunity, uh, you know, I ain't going to let this opportunity supersede or my ego supersede this opportunity. And you stepped off. What? You ain't supposed to celebrate? You ain't supposed to go buy shit that you dreamed about buying when you was fucked up? You just was living with your loon. You can't go buy, treat yourself to this and do this and the third. You know what I mean? Put all that humble shit in the go-yard, man. Like you told the chick, put your feelings in the go-yard. Put that humble shit in the go-yard, man. What the fuck is you talking about? You better pop. Gil had to tell me that shit. I'm chilling. I'm riding around. and Motherfucker got two minivans. His bank money. account. This nigga bank account. M and M Duff. He riding around in 20, 2009 minivans. Man, what the fuck is you doing, man? You fucking the brand up now. <laughs> Listen, I'm fucking wrong with you, nigga. You ain't, got, you been out of jail all the time. You I got flashbacks. Up. I got flashbacks, nephew. Or when I was in the month in the prison cell looking at a robbery report, looking at Maybachs and shit. I woke up one day, I said, man, let me go get me a Maybach. No, no, I need a one brand new off the assembly line. Let me go get this 63. Let me get this. Let me get, yeah, I need the platinum fuzzies. I need that shit. I need this. I'm treating my motherfucking self because I'm only going to do this. You only do life once, Neff. Right. Fuck that. Motherfucker, put it in their face. And you got to treat, you got to think, most of his gifts came on Valentine's Day in prison. You got to treat you. Get the fuck out of here trying to slide yeah, that bullshit. Ain't nobody give me no Valentine's Day <laughs> gift in no fucking prison, you fucking nut. Get the fuck out of here, you nut ass. Slide that shit on me. Ain't nobody pass me no more. I had to make facts laugh. He ain't laugh today. I mean, fuck out of here. But Bernard, Bernard, look at this shit. This motherfucker was writing raps, sleeping on the floor. Mm-hmm. But the big girl, he wanted the big girl in the car with a right raps. She was a big girl. He told me she was. She was a big girl. Be wrong, you gotta keep it real. Man. He was, he had the big girl. He all up in the joint writing raps in the motherfucking joint. Like, man, I gotta make it. Yeah. Look at where he at now. This yeah. keep putting it in their face. Made real palace, like before federal took off, I took over the trash. They took over the seat. I used to make real palace in the Mill Creek, like three, four covers, not no air mattress or none of this. Talking about three, four covers, two, three pillows. And- just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he invented the, 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 the hood mattress. Shit, exactly. He was a floor warrior. He was a floor warrior. <laughs> the fuck, man? He's sleeping on floors. Now he's now he running around putting on his face on jets, putting other people on and changing their life. Why do women mess with homeless sexuals? That's homeless, but they f***ing the level off you for a place to stay. Mm. There's a bunch of them <laughs> out here. Yeah, she had to think about this. She like, oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, cause, okay cause, cause they be like, their girlfriend be like, bitch, he don't do nothing. Bitch, when he, he f***ing the brakes off her. He f***ing the leather off her jacket. He left only the zippers on the bed. Why do women mess with them? To your point. 
Because that slammer good. Yeah. He ain't did. He ain't on work. He open. He tear the. F- because probably they can't afford to do that though. They can afford to f- with a broke. Nigga. Like they good. They just need some. A little. <laughs> but they be loving it. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with getting you a little and getting a little. You good? You could get him a little sometime. Yeah, because they say that I'm keeping all we real though. They do say broke. They they give out the best. They say they because they f- for their life. Mm-hmm. Chick told me when Wallo was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, motherfucker told me when Wallo was broke. Listen, Lord, listen, oh let me tell you something. 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 Listen, listen, listen. listen, listen, listen this nigga got money. He got. Uh, <laughs> I'll put that. You tripping. 30 seconds. You he's tripping, about, uh, 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 You tripping. Uh, 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 you tripping. Uh, 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 you Wallo, tripping. I'm, not I'm for standing real. that shit. I'm standing hey. that shit. Nigga came home from jail. I'm standing there. Came home from jail. He talking about. He tripping. He let Miss Lane out like. No, so listen, this is what happened. So this is what happened. So this is what happened. They, so this, they this was in my DM. Oh my God. Hey, Tell hey, Wallow I'm sorry. <laughs> they even DM hey, we, too. It was. Tell Wallow yeah, I'm was sorry. Tripping. Just they tell him to come back home. So I come home. I come home. Hold up, cuz. I come home every week. Him and two, they uh, they calling me like, what the f is you doing? Every week it was somebody else. The one chick, I remember I'm down in Atlanta. You and Sife called me like, yo, what the f you doing? I'm like, what you talking about? So this one chick late. Go to my grandma's crib. Not the grandma. She, she went to grandma's crib. I don't even know how she found it. Oh. She put a brick there. A brick. With an AK-47 an AK with my name on it. Ooh. It was like, she was keep like. Keep playing. Keep playing. Then the other girl, I like, told. There was a letter, but you can read her face yeah, in was, the letter. Keep yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was acting up. I'm going to put some leg warmers on you. <laughs> yeah, she said that. <laughs> Bring that <laughs> through here. Stop playing. I gotta do that one. I like that. What's her name? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't Shout know. Shout out to No, no, she. You know her name, little chubby cute mother. No, no, What's no, a little so chubby, cute motherfucker from the Northeast? Now, you better than Jamal Crawford right now. Yes. Now, you out your damn Dog, mind. Thank you. Out sh- your damn now, mind, you know bro. what I'm talking about. You this, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Jamal, this, okay. Okay. okay, let me just say this. Jamal Crawford is going to get his baskets. That's what he do. He cook everybody. Okay. But guess who else going in the <laughs> oven? Jamal <laughs> Crawford. He got a all right, right let's think of now, somebody I'm that's like, your height. I'm like Bubba. I'm like Bubba Chuck. I know I'm a motherfucking liability on motherfucking defense, but guess what? I'm such a liability on offense that it don't even matter. Ask Rowdy Rebel. Got him the fuck out of here. Ask Rob Fortnite. Got him the fuck out of here. Ask Chris Brown. Got him the fuck out of here. He's talking about a bunch Ask of dudes Russ. that smoke bad weed. Got him the out of here. These young boys Yo, smoke bad weed. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. You, you see me Jamal playing? Crawford, wait, hold on. Bugger. You see me playing <laughs> Lethal Shooter? That is in the gym every day, all day, right? We playing one on one. Did he have to take me to the basket and push me out of bounds? I said, "Damn, bro, you playing like this?" He said, "I gotta win." Six four, six five, two fifty. You seen the f- me whoa, cooking whoa. the. Sh- I say this. Back to I back. Can't, That's can't, the thing. Can't. That's the thing about me. That's I don't so put cool. together highlight tapes. All my shit so be in a row. You gonna get baskets in a row. Six, seven straight baskets in a row. Everything I love. Most of the time. No Most of the time. In the gym. Cam, Cam. Most of the time me in the gym. 99% of the time me in the gym. He's playing against that do two things. Either smoke bad weed or play with their nose. So the don't care. The Smoke no, I ain't talking about the young boys. That's who I'm playing. I'm talking about when you be in the gym. Y'all all the time play old old This is what I'm saying. It's two things. Now, two things, real quick. It's bubs. It's two things. I gotta say, I'm not hating on Gilly. That nigga got MVP in the big three twice back. I help him get that. No, but hold on. Let me say what I gotta say real quick. But everybody, Gil named never been the NBA, and when it's time to go to the NBA. He always go to Catino Moby. This is the fourth time we've been together. Hey, and it's go to the I'm just my man. Moby. They my <laughs> so they can vouch for me. All yeah. you got to do is call Jamal Crawford up. I'll be in Atlanta. This is a bum. Deep frying. This is a bum. Hey, hey, we had this conversation. Gil, stop it, bro. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who you said, stop it, Fox. You did this, you call stack, stack up. Stack yeah. said, stop it, Fox. First of all, do you know how much mileage Jamal Crawford got on them fucking knees? I just watched hey, hey, Oh, hey, hey, what about Isaiah hey, Thomas? Hold up, hold up. Yo, ask Stack. I support y'all, and I'm watching now. Shout out to all y'all. Love all y'all. Appreciate it. Hey, yo, Stack. Let me ask Stack. Yo, Stack. Can I? Yo, Stack. 
Stack, I, be stack. So you don't think I'll give no. Jamal Crawford some stack, baskets? Stack, stack. He said he better than Jamal Crawford right now. Cam, Cam, that's what made me call in. <laughs> <laughs> that's what made niggas call in. Yo, you wild. You out of your mind, man. I just had to call in and say, stop it, bro. He <laughs> said he ain't never... <laughs> I, I yeah, yeah, I go and say, stop it. Y'all hating on my game. I told so, y'all well, well, Let me just ask you a question. Do y'all know what the youngins call me? What is Chauncey Gillups. What's the new one? What's happening? What's the new one? Damian Gillups. Gillup. Yeah, we know the nickname. Sam Gilsell. You, you gave yourself all these names. No, the youngins <laughs> call me this. Shay Gilgis Alexander. <laughs> Grant Gill. <laughs> What I'm really on, you know what they call me? Mike Gill Jordan. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I told you I'm not hating on you, but you got to start with Jamal yeah, Crawford. Yeah. You're doing All too right. far. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, Jamal Crawford. Listen, right now, he on me and I was worth a game. I bet you, Jamal Crawford will not accept this challenge one on one. I call him and see. <laughs> By, ton- by tonight, I have an answer for All you. Right. One on one, I'm gonna come to wherever he at. I'm gonna bring my no, cameras. No, 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 no. We gonna get the money out of it. We gonna, we gonna wait. Same way, while I'm setting up, okay. we gonna set, we it, gonna up. set right. it up. We pay per view in that. Jamal Crawford against Damian Gillard. You, you oh, out wow. your mind, girl? I was with you for a minute, man. <laughs> what Jamal about six four? Yes, that's, that's, that's easy. That's work. why I said Isaiah that's Thomas. Work. He is size. Oh no, f- and deep fry Isaiah Thomas. He too. Little man, you got to be at least 6'3, 6'4 to even. Mad disrespect with the Seattle players, man. The Seattle Dog. is Dog. nice, bro. Super Isaiah Thomas is a f-ing legend. I will deep fry his young ass. <laughs> deep oven fry, bro. My shit is, I shoot better than 70% of the in the NBA. You hear right this dumb shit? Yeah. Right now. That's, what I'm That's right. dumb shit. Right now. You're not shooting when they shoot that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you ain't okay. got the defense okay, on you. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see me playing the big three. Mm-hmm. I hit four threes and a four pointer. Did any of them that played in the big three hit, hit any of that? Shit? I'm confused. Yo, my sh- is Gil, damn near. You my stop. is damn near. Yeah, if Gil, you're Gil, open, Gil, you gotta it's stop. Gil. Be you gotta, you gotta for stop real. a little bit. Let's shooting is shooting. Gil. 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 You gotta shooting stop. Shooting is shooting, right? Yeah. You gotta stop. If I, hit, Larry, Larry. if I hit four threes, <laughs> if I hit four threes <laughs> and a four point. Then, Said Rowdy Rebel and and another yeah, night, like, Rowdy Rebel, that? my man, but you. But he garbage, yeah. right? Nah, nah, I don't know. I just see the highlights. <laughs> Not everybody highlights is gonna look good on Instagram. I don't know. No, I don't I, know that's the difference. Not. I don't do highlights. I show you baskets you in a row. Fuck with Jamal Crawford. Everybody else, I got your back, and I don't know about Joe right. Johnson either. Well, let me so, see what so name one else, Mark. In the I'm the only two. Me I'm against Isaiah you. Thomas. That's perfect because we both left handed. Yeah, that's why I said that. Yeah, set it up, Zeke. What you want to do? Just it's crazy. What you want to do? These I are that still could be in the league. Yeah, that's why I said that. <laughs> yeah, it ain't like they washed. That's the beauty of it. That's what's going to make it good, Paul. That's the beauty of it because... Let oh, me ask no, you a you're not beating this dude. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Do you not think... I'm a, do you not think I'm, a, I'm not going to get off? If you don't... See, the part, the thing about it, it depends on how the rules go. If the loser take the ball out, then maybe. But if the winner take... The person who scored take to get the ball back... You may not get the ball. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, to wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up. <laughs> I slapped the floor like Duke on him. <laughs> now he Bobby Hurley. You, you cannot steal the ball from Jamal Crawford, bro. He can't steal the ball from me. Jamal you, Crawford, you, you, you listen. Not shit on the yo yo. Another thing is like this, Gil, and I'm, I'm telling you because I'm, I'm not hating on you. <laughs> It's a shot clock. You like to catch your breath. You hold the ball. No. I see no. what you get. Hold, hold. Let me hey, ask I'm you a question. You this. I'm telling you. How I'm many watching. games did I play the other day playing against the pros? You'll run like seven. You, and, wait, 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 wait. All, all these players played NBA G League and overseas. Yo, they, yo, wait, hold on. They yo. all played for money, right? Yeah. What was the record when we left out of that motherfucker? You filmed it. Uh, four, three, Who you work for, oh, bro? Okay. <laughs> Who you work for? Oh, no, it's on oh, film. No, no I, asked it's on film. I asked them, what do you have to say? Hold on. <laughs> you want to pull up the film? <laughs> with, yeah, he's with shaping the, the narrative. Yeah, you work for him. Yeah, yeah he's shaping the narrative. You want to pull up you know the know film for them <laughs> with a <laughs> who's 6'8 is sitting on the floor saying, I can't believe I lost Where to this, is this nigga that, Who does he play for? 
He played G League. 10 years overseas G League. He's a Cisco this Bobcats. He played <laughs> He played professional ball. <laughs> It ain't my fault, you know, we play it. I'm, I'm just saying, saying all I, I said could was, professional athletes I got for a three, living. I got three. Isaiah Thomas, Jamal Crawford, and Iso Joe. Everything else you got. I Iso got, Joe. You got credit. Joe, Joe Johnson. Johnson. Come on, man. You got to give Joe me Joe Johnson is like 6'9", ain't he? Yeah, this is he what he said he cooked. He just said he would cook Joe Johnson. I'm not saying that I'm going to win, but they're going to be like, man, Gilly was cooking that man. He going to block all your shots. Now you crazy as them old ass knees, man. Play 11,000 games, man. Them attendance all loose and shit, man. Man, I run like a young You just seen me beat my 26-year-old brother in a race. Everybody you name don't count, bro. You <laughs> naming random people. He got me on his house. I could wallow before. I'm beating 26-year-old in races, man. Think about that. Crazy. Yo, think about bro, your, think it, about your son who walk around here with his shirt all off like this. <laughs> you going outside and beating him in the race right now? I'm, it depends. I can I can no, beat you niggas in the race. No, you can't, Cam. You dead I can't horse play power. basketball. No, up, I can't play basketball for forty That's minutes. <laughs> but a race, I got a here could beat you in the race. The fuck out of here. My man Tito, you going to better Tito? Right, right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Tito, I'm better right now. Kick the shit out of Tito. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars when it's over, he beat you in the race. Out of Tito. It's a bet. Tito, I don't even know why you raised your hand. You volunteered for a Tito is 20. Tito, you 23, man. Nah, Tito, 46. Tito, how old is you? 46. No, how old is you for real, Tito? 1977, March 21st. Y'all the same. Oh, you talking about that old? Yes. I thought you were talking about younger than the bet. No, I cooked it. It's a race. It's a bet. I will cook this. Out of here. That, yes. I, I he hundred, raised this hand. I'm talking no, here. No, that old ass. Hundred dollars. Y'all the same age. Gil gonna smoke Yo, it. I will. I'm running him out bet. them black forces. A side bet. Side what the bet. is you talking about? That's a side bet. That yeah. is all. No, 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 I bet. I, the two of them Because ACL might be. <laughs> that's, that's a bet. That's a bet. Because yeah. you better cook it. That muscles ain't he. We got one of got to run like this. He, right. he, he can't even run like this. You're going to be sad after this, Gil. Then after that, I'm going to need another day. He's stretching his shit. I ain't no more. He's on the show. He no more. He ain't no more. He ain't no more. Yes. You want to use your fucking back? Yes. Why wouldn't we? I bet. That's a, as soon as it's over, we going right outside. Right, right there, the outside. It's the street right there. <laughs> like Ain't nobody coming down the road. I don't give a fuck about none of that. You think you're about you going to give me two to one out? You think I'm letting the old head that smoke reefer beat me, man? All right, You still smoke reefer, man. That nigga stretched. Look, he stretched. He over there sweating. Look. That nigga stretched. Look. Look at the sweat coming down. All he did was stretch. Look at him. We got to talk about it no more. All he did was stretch. Come on, let's get to the work. Come on, let's get to it. Let's get to it. It's just like that. Right. Hey, let me get the winner. I'll take the winner. Winner. <laughs> I'll take the winner because I know I'm from where to where, Mace. Stop sign. The Stop sign. Can I get the winner? Gilly look like he's walking slow down there. They gonna smoke Gilly. That's uphill too. He wanted that Gilly wanna go downhill. Stay up there so we can make sure niggas ain't in front of. Niggas. You want it now too? No, I'm gonna be down here to say who won. Come on, Mace. I'm gonna lift my hand if the left side win or the right <laughs> side win. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. I'm clocking your time. Come on. My hamstring acting up today. <laughs> Yo, make sure you get that on camera because Mace might cheat. Ready, set, go. Oh, you got it. Get it. Oh, God. Come on, get him! Come on! Oh, yeah, he beat him! Who won? Get those cats! Hey, go to the tape! Ah, I knew Tito won! Tito won! You grabbing your leg! <laughs> my knot up, man! Tito was at 8.3! 
You at um, 852. Because you had hey. one. Everybody was watching. You know everybody. You had him at first. You had him. You had him. You had him. That's what done. What do we do when we build money? We rip it up. What? Is, what? what is money? Uh, what you better not do that, nigga. <laughs> 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 you, you don't take <laughs> <your> money, man. <laughs> 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 That's money from 88. <laughs> Yeah. That's how Harlem feel about Gilly right there. Money's so good here, money. I gotta give a shout out to Baby Stace because Baby Stace is the one that called that called Mason said, Man, what wallowing them, man? What happened, man? They got they got five year old on there. Go man, wallow, that's that was my like man, we I thought they fuck with you, man. And then May say, yo, man, I ain't get nobody five thousand dollars. I gotta I gotta come up there. Yeah. And all this come out of that. Yeah. All because baby states wanted to put a check in or haul them checking on on me. She put a okay. check in on you, you was bitching I mean, too. I mean yeah. she bitching snack. like a m and then, and then and then you know what's crazy though? When I see y'all, what I what was so good about is that a conversation changed. Everything. One conversation, bro. Like y'all real live brothers, man. When Mace got up there and said, Man, I used to wear cam clothes. That was my that was like the it, it showed it showed a brother missing a brother and a brother just being real when nobody is in between. Sometimes people come between stuff yeah. and it'd be conversations cause cause it'd be remixes. You know, I tell Gil something about Cam. Gil to put his own, not saying him particularly, people put their own Swiss twist on stuff based off of how they hate and how they want to, yeah, because what's the name? Oh, man, I ain't even going to tell you. Yeah. They be remixing, so y'all getting all these different stories, and it's once the conversation had, y'all jump in, and now look at y'all. Y'all y'all turning the game up. You see what I'm saying? But, but we never get a chance to have this in the hood. Luckily, y'all ain't go to the beef where it got real crazy, and the pistols got, you know what I mean? But now look at y'all. Y'all back on some brotherhood shit. Y'all winning. Y'all raking in the dough. You know, first of all, we want to say, I want to say thank you guys for yeah. even, because to be honest, without you guys' platform, we may not even still, maybe not even speaking. Yeah. So first of all, I want to just say thank you guys, because be honest with you, we don't even, I don't do interviews. I told you, I, I do, mm -hmm. I do a million dollar worth of game and I do drink champs. I don't do any other interviews unless you pay me. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, because how many times you're going to say the same story? You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's just the way I think. But Thank you guys for even, you know, I can, I didn't know it left from states, but yeah. after hearing Mace talk, I'm like, damn, this my nigga be. So I gotta go on. I was supposed to come on your show anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, this is a perfect. It worked out. The timing was great. So, mm -hmm. but thank you guys for even giving us the opportunity because we got somebody in common. Um, Chanel, one, she's one of my publicists. Yeah, yeah, and she, and some she, people. Yeah, so Chanel, she, we you know we that's who we was in a meeting with before we had um came back in. Here. And she's like, yo, you know, I work with Gilly all the time. Is it true? And I'm like, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? She's like, Gilly always talking about, none of that shit would be going on if it wasn't for, for our platform. <laughs> Them motherfuckers wouldn't be getting this money and be speaking and nothing if it wasn't for us. We the ones who got the motherfuckers back together. I was like, yeah, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah. Right. <laughs> she you know, definitely told me I that. I told her that Lafon yeah. said, no, that's how they got back together. Like, no, yeah. they ain't. Yeah, that's but a fact. But look, the, the beauty in it is that we could show the young that a lot of times don't be that deep, man. Nope. Yeah. And right. we stronger together. Right. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That be the, that's the beauty in it, showing motherfuckers know we stronger together. Like, you got to understand, Ken was just doing what he was doing to get money. Mace was just doing what he was doing to get money had a conversation and then next to you know millions of dollars come out of that yeah mm. and, and y'all brought think and, about that that was a beautiful day for millions all millions of dollars come out of that mm. now these is my and Brian Gumble and my <laughs> 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 killing shit out there <laughs> and, it's like, and, it's like, and it's like just just understanding like it don't cause nothing to help to bring people together or give them information Mm -hmm. You know, Cam called, Mace called, I said, get, put, get on the phone. This is how you do this shit. Mm -hmm. This is the money. This is how we get. And they went and got the bag. They went and got the bag. Yes, one, they did. One thing about it as well is like, because I always got offers, and nothing, to, of course, to do with Mace, but I'm just saying, I always got offers to do podcasts and be a part of kind. And I'm like, I don't really know about that shit. 
Like I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to do that. But I didn't know I liked sports. But watching you two um, do what you guys did, I don't, I don't really, like, I, don't know, I won't name names, but I don't really fuck with niggas like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't like it. The niggas who supposed to be, I don't fuck with. Niggas. So when I seen your podcast, I'm like, yo, I, I fuck with a uh, million dollars worth yeah. of game in Gillian Wild. I'm sure niggas, I could sit there and watch them or listen to niggas in the car because they're on the same type of time I'm on. Right. Yeah. So I was like, that's dope. But then I said, yo, how's they doing? I said, oh, let me see. And I was like, oh, they, it's money like that? <laughs> 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 the, I said, you really need to get money like that? He's like, yeah. Because y'all niggas don't really, if you, if you, especially if they don't follow you guys on Instagram, you guys don't wear a bunch of jewelry. Y'all not a bunch of flashy. No. Y'all buy them cars. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely get them cars. I'm like, um, let me make a couple phone calls, see what the fuck going on in this space. So you called me and I said, listen. Yeah, absolutely. I, I saw definitely you guys first, and then I called a few. But yeah. more of the story is just saying thank you for being the niggas that you are and making a nigga like me realize, like, yo, they fing with some real niggas still right now. So right. that's what's up. Yeah, it's that's it's what's a, up. And I, I listen, man, and the realness in this shit is that I re- we really look at niggas like brothers. So mm-hmm. anytime you need us for any information, anything, it's our duty to be like, oh, no, no, do this. Mm-hmm. No, do that. No, no, you want to do this so that this can happen. If we don't do that, we really some nut ass yeah. 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 That's just yeah. the reality of it. We don't never block nobody, anybody that we can help in this space because it's like, bro, it's enough money out here for everybody. Right. What the fuck is we talking about? I'm not in competition with because my check is already signed. That's guaranteed money. That's going to the bank. Mm-hmm. So why y'all can't get some money? Right. The why they money. can't get some money? Why they can't? If you got a hot product that people like, what's the issue? Right. The, the Jews don't do that. Yeah. Right. The Arabs don't do that. Yeah, they put them out there. They like, no, you need a connect? Hold on. Let me make a phone call for you. Mm-hmm. So it's time for us to be like that. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. I you started me? doing Million Miles Worth of Game videos in 2012. Ugh. Think about that. That's I was so let me give y'all Million Miles Worth of Game real quick. Ugh. All the youngins out there. Stop chasing bitches and chase money because when you got money, bitches chase Ugh. you. I was get since 2012. Wallow came home in 2017. Yup. Think about how many videos I was putting out every day. Exactly, bro. I didn't think that Million Dollars Worth of Game was going to be a podcast. Ugh. I didn't think it wasn't even in your brain. I just was putting work in. I just was putting the work in. Okay, people like when I give them this game, which has got its attention, motivation, and education. People like when I talk to them. People like the advice that I give them. So, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all game. I'm gonna take questions. I'm gonna answer y'all questions. All of that work. God said, okay, there you go. Yeah. No, you thought you might have had something over here, but no, 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 no. <laughs> My plans is different. You got something over here. Matter of fact, hold on. I ain't going to give it to you until Cuz come home. Mm. And, and, so y'all can both reap the benefits mm. of and, this shit. Because he going to come home and he going to work. Mm. That's one thing he ain't never been was a lazy n- He's a hustler by nature. It just started off with hustling negative shit. Yeah. Now your mind right, you're not gonna hustle negative shit. You gonna hustle positive, positive shit. shit. So that's what God was planning. And you gotta understand this, Kai. I didn't sat there in his <laughs> crib because if I wasn't at nanny crib or if I wasn't doing my video, doing whatever, I go go chill at Gil crib. I'd be sitting in the crib with Gil, and I would sit there and watch people call him right. Associates, people we know sometimes, family. rappers, rappers, um, and they would call him. He'd be like, yo, man, Wallow out here tripping. That nigga going crazy. I see that going to, and he'd just have him on speaker like, because we'd be talking, me talk. Somebody might call, he'd be like, cuz, just keep doing what you're doing. Ugh. You got this shit in the chokehold. Just do you. Keep going. I'm like, yeah, I ain't stopping. I ain't going back to jail. I'm cool. I'm, yeah. I'm in my space. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'm speaking. And, and not to cut what? you off at this time, he ain't even making no money off this shit. Mm. Nah. He just going. He just going. Most people in your position, when somebody go to jail for that long, bro. What made you just like want to like I feel like I feel like you I feel like y'all both is so special because it's like what made you want to just like wait till he get home and just thrive with him no. knowing that he done been through all that 
Most people would even most people wouldn't even give a fuck, bro. Yeah, you feel me? I'm gonna so, keep it all the way real with you. You know, even though when he was locked up, I always was shot wallow out. So in all my in all my raps, all my mixtapes, everything I put out, free wallow, free spado. Yeah. So everybody always heard he like he done been home and had people walk up on him like, yo, man, I always heard your name, man. It's a pleasure to mm -hmm. meet you now, man. Gil used to always say free wallow. Cause this was my first rapping partner. Yeah. I don't even rap I was because of this. I, I wasn't no rapper. I was trying to do some stick ups and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't trying to be no rapper. Rapping wasn't really cool back then. Mm. You feel? There's only a few rappers in the whole city. Mm. So, for us, it was like when he came home and he was doing his thing, I was just proud that he wasn't on no. He, I'm never going back to jail because yeah. I don't give a f what the situation no angry is. Shit. I'm no. not no angry. Shit. And then. Other people had went to jail and came home, and when they come home, they be bitter. They be angry. They got an attitude. People owe them something. Bro, I wasn't with you when you got locked the fuck up. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even really kicking it. You feel? He didn't come home bitter, angry, none of that shit. He came home like, and he listens he That's his biggest attribute. He listen. He, you will give him some game. He'll soak that shit up. He'll jump on YouTube, University, Google, or anything you told him. He'll come back tomorrow. You know what, cuz? You was right, right? Because I had did some research and, and we ain't supposed to be getting no 32%. We supposed to be getting 62%. See, so he one of them. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So when he came home, even when we went to did the podcast and we went to split the shit, he said, How you want to do it, cuz? Because he understood, cuz was building his brand. Five years before I even came home. But I said, we're going to do this 50-50. Mm. Because everything that you got coming, you deserve to have that. You did 20 years in jail. Mm. I've been out here. I done been to London, Japan, <sighs> Thailand, anywhere you could name. I done been there. My feet done touched land there. So for me to be like, oh, we're going to do 70-30. gonna No, I don't want no mishaps. Mm -mm. If we get a check for this amount of money, you gonna get this amount of money and I'm gonna get this amount of money. And you ain't never gotta count my money. I ain't never, never gotta, gotta count, count your, your money. We ain't never gonna have no motherfucking disagreements because you put in work every day since you came home. So you meeting me halfway. Wait, yeah. And I've been out here. When you came home, I had a house, I had my family, I got my kids, I got eat. Yeah. Go ahead and eat. You solo, you single, you, you whatever, you got a woman, you ain't got no kids, whatever, whatever you got going on, you deserve to have that. Because you gonna put the same amount of work in from this day forward that I'ma put in. Mm. Let's eat. Yeah. They don't see that work, guy. Nah. Nah, they don't see that, bro. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, and that'd be the most beautiful part of it. Like, to look back yeah. and see everything and just how everything is now, bro, it's truly a blessing, no cap. What you smoke a hookah with your man, bitch, for, man? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why do you know all of this, though? Why, why, why are you watching all of this stuff? Why not? Is it a take? That was a, that was a one-time occurrence. Oh, oh, why would you be smoking a hookah with at? your man, bitch, though? What was because that? let me just I, say something. Time, at the he time, was hurt. At the time, at the time, let me clarify. Said you you smoke hookah with my bitch, bitch and I, yes! Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. At the time, <laughs> my house operated like a kickback. House. Everybody came. So your house is the hookah lounge. Yeah. So so, so <laughs> you ain't see that wrong with that. He was like, you were just like, no. He, but what did he see that he felt oh as though it was? God. No, yo, I'm just saying yo, he just. Niggas. No, he just said, listen, you, dude, snapped First out. All, you were sleeping with my. I can't believe this. What no, the fuck happened? What happened? This is what happened. Him and Joe must have had a conversation. Joe said, "Yeah, I, I, I don't even entertain my homies' exes." That's what happened. My man, the man, my man bust out laughing. And then he said, right? You did Joe said, fuck you laughing ex. at. He said, because you did entertain I'm the ex. He like, said, you fuck. had no, hold on. He said, you had my ex over your motherfucking house smoking hookah. So, <laughs> he never he never approached you no, about no, that beforehand. Wait, wait. We had a talk. Wait, hold Damn, on. This wasn't a new talk. Wait, wait hold, hold on, talk. dog. He said, talk. so obviously <laughs> Joe must have been paying him back because this Joe thought crazy. Joe thought that he fucked this bitch. Because he just screamed that out of nowhere. You do not f*** your bitch. I was like, wait, hold on. What the f*** is going 
going on in this joint? Like, how, how is you playing? Oh my like, oh my Joe, God. it's Joey Savage. We, we, have, we have honest talks over there. We have so honest then talks. he just screamed that shit out of nowhere, right? I was like, <laughs> and oh. I didn't think that about. It. I was like, I, didn't think I was like, wait, oh hold God. on, wait. I'm like, you you smoking hookah with his bitch late at night? You know what come at the smoking hookah? Yeah. What come at the smoking hookah? Uh, blowing a, tr- a saxophone. <laughs> What you talking about? No, no. no <laughs> a lot no, of times, no, smoking hookah no. uh-huh. lead to blowing a saxophone. No, you not hear this me? Day. Uh, not right, this day. Right, maybe it didn't happen. Not this day. All I'm not just saying, day. but I'm just saying though. Like, why? Why would I be smoking hookah with Wallow ex bitch of nine years, man? Just me and her. She was nine years. Damn. At yeah, the crib. Time. He said. He said. Yeah. You don't, you fish, fish, you don't feel a little yeah, guilty about that? No. He said, no, I don't feel bad. You'll do it again. No, I wouldn't do it again. Well, okay. then you must feel guilty. If you if it's something that you won't do again and you don't feel like it was no foul in it, the, no ex, harm the in it. ex popped up. What do you mean the ex? The ex popped she up. just came. She it wasn't she wasn't cordially invited and wait, hold on. The so relationship she just came, was so, so you were just in the crib. She popped, she popped up one day and said, I gotta talk to you. And I lit a hookah. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. What y'all wait, talking wait, about? Wait, no, no, wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, wait, hold on. <laughs> Joe said, she said, so I you was talk just to you, chilling Joe. at the crib. Joe was a good friend. There was a few people chilling at the crib. It was a lot of people. <laughs> oh, so just one you and her? No. Oh, so why he make it like that? Why, why his woman choose you to confide in? There You're the confider. I'm good to confide in. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm good to confide in. I like that part. The Cleveland game. What the happened? Game. Talk to because so, you know you know sometimes when you smoke a lot of weed sometimes the cushion activate itself at the wrong. <laughs> nah, so so I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell, I'm, I've been telling this story for a minute. Man. You ain't never told it on here, I and I ain't never it. seen it. What happened, man? So first of all, I didn't realize that on a, before the play that we the, the situation happened on. I'm thinking Buddy went down there and Mr. Free Throw didn't. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I get, but I wasn't already anticipating. I got KD sitting next to me. So nine times out of ten, first of all, George Hill's a 90, 90% free throw shooter. So I'm not expecting George to miss. Excuses I know people want to say whatever, whatever. Call it what you want. But I got KD next to me. So on top of that, when the ball comes off the rebound, I'm sitting here like, this, I got a chance at this motherfucker. I grabbed a rebound, but any other time in that situation, even prior to that season, season before, since I've been in Cleveland, in those situations, we always call timeout, figure out what we're going to do, get organized, get L the ball, and we're going to go from there. So, of course, I take the ball out to the three-point line. All right, cool. Ain't nobody call timeout. We good. All right. I'm, I can't, I'm not about to just launch the ball across the court to you. I'm going to bring the ball up to the court, and then worse than worse, I'm going to get you the pill. This is what, if, I, if I'm sitting out here shooting the ball real tough, if I shoot the ball in that situation and we and I miss, uh-huh. they're going to sit here and blame, oh, what are he doing shooting that shot? He ain't got no business shooting that shot. So right. for me, I look at it like it's a lose-lose situation anyway. Right. But at the same time, in my, my knowledge of it, like, all right, cool, I got the ball. Ain't nobody called timeout. You clearly see I'm not about to go score. I got this seven-footed motherfucker right here. Right. So I bring the ball out. You still don't call timeout. All right, cool. I'm going to bring it up the court, get you the ball, because that's what we need anyway. Right. Y'all still don't want to call timeout? By the time I do all of that, we just <laughs> realizing that we got a timeout yeah. and we got the ball. Right. All right, cool. So then they make the memes. It's like, yeah. it may seem funny to y'all, but to me, it's like, all right, cool. This is the finals, like, Right. Boy, I've waited since I was three years old again. Yeah, right. that's a real now you deal. try to make a mockery of everything else, and it's like the worst part about it is nobody else say shit. It's just like, nah, huh? Where that? You just take that. Like, boy, it's a basketball play. First of all, it's many, it's too many other things that could have happened than other than just saying, oh, he took the ball out and just right. We went out with New York to do a show. We all decided to pull up at Eleventh and Vine. At that old club, remember when yeah. we all park our car winners, we decided to get in this car because he had the he had the new a newer maximum, less miles. We figure out we ain't gonna need to get no oil change in the middle of this trip. We all hop in this car. Why the fuck we chose this car? All right, so at that time, I think this had a license plate that belonged to somebody else's car. But you know what happened back in the day? This is what happened back in the day. You got a lot of tickets in your car. What you do? You pour the stolen. Yeah. Right. So you don't get your 
right. so oh, somebody must have reported that plate stolen and gave him the plate. Yeah. So now if the police read that plate, it says stolen property. So right. they're not sure what, what it's all about. Right. That's what happens. So this, we ended the car. Why he choose an African to drive? <laughs> Why you why you let him drive, Buck? He's Buck's like Buck knew that shit had a stolen exactly, plate on there. Exactly. Buck hey, like, man, no, Mike, I'm no tired. Man. You know what I mean? I'm like, you and me, we just started. He like, Mike, I'm tired, man. I'm not feeling well. Wait, wait, how long ago was this? Dog, 1999. Oh, Mike, Mike was still square. Mike was still square yeah, to the game. Good. He was like, I was driving with a. He just got his license too. He told us how he was riding bikes at 17. He had his license. He ain't no shit. Now he's 19. He just got Buck his license. Pulled, probably never. No Philly probably just got a car. His shit. Buck it was better than his. He was like, I drive with it. Oh, of course I drive. He thought he was gonna pull up looking good. Then pulled up to the police. Station. Nigga, we didn't get pulled over to. We going to New York to do a show for our uh, comedian in Brooklyn, Mike. We going to New York to do a show. Me, Kev, Toure, Buck, in a car. I'm driving. We're on the turnpike. All of a sudden, a state trooper behind us. I'm I'm never seen a police pull behind me before. I'm nervous. I'm like, damn. I'm <laughs> hitting the brakes. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm black man driving a car. I'm on a highway in Jersey. in Jersey. You know what I mean? I'm. He was like, Mike, what, what are you doing hitting the brakes? I said, Why is he behind us? Like, what is, I, I'm making. I'm thinking like, make sure my green card is right. Cause you know, you know, I'm not even thinking about police. I'm thinking about my papers. I'm like, I'm thinking about my status in America. I'm ready to go back to jail. I'm ready to go back to jail. Fuck Jill. He don't want to come back to Africa. He over here talking all that shit, moving for God. Susan, keep on. I'm going back home. I like it outside west. This shit is bitching. This was bitching. <laughs> you ain't shit. The truth come out. You ain't, ain't go shit. Back. You was dying to go. get over here. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm a whole bunch of things running through my head, you know? And then I was just going through, so you said oh, I was going through a separation. Was... I actually, I, I got married at a very young age. So I got, I'm going through a separation with a, a crazy goes... American woman, right? Yeah. <laughs> Great, going through a separation. I got a restraining order on this chick. Whole lot of shit going on he in my life. Order. Yeah, I got a restraining order. <laughs> well, you sweat bullets with a restraining order on, on a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yo, this is man. I got a restraining order on. Oh, There's a whole lot of shit going on. Oh, my God. <laughs> this shit is crazy, oh, man. Keep going. Keep hey, this. Chill. This is the best shit I ever heard, man. Chill. All us, you know. Chill. I guess the this, this situation, <coughs> first thing, I guess he read a place. The place come up as stolen property. So now they're like, pull over. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me? Through the, through the, yeah, I'm nervous as shit. I'm like, <laughs> like, this like, who driver, buck, come who out. buck was doing? Them pulled our guns on us. What buck was doing? He was like, he's cool. He like, Mike, so it's Mike. Just listen to them. They're going to shoot you, Mike. <laughs> what? He told you they was going to shoot yeah, you? Yeah, they're going to shoot. They're like, Mike, just... Because like, driver, come out the car with your hands he out. He said he up. He said he up. Buck said he up. Go ahead. What else happened? Oh, what else happened, man? They said, come out the car. <laughs> driver, come out with your hands up. On the loudspeaker. On the loudspeaker. I'm like, and back. But I go forward. I'm back. And I'm like, Mike, you're going to get shot, don't... <laughs> He's scared to death. He's like, I'm going to die. <laughs> So we all come out. We lay on the floor. You lay on the ground. Wait, wait oh, you, Kevin Hart. Me, Kevin Hart, Ture Gordon, and Buck Wow. It's four of us. Luckily for us, Charles Warden wasn't with us. Charles Warden is handicapped. Yeah. Now, that's been real f***ed up. Yeah. But Charles always go with us. I'm like, the first thing I said to myself, thank God Charles is not with us. Charles is straight like who did? No, fuck that. That wasn't the first thing you said. The to first me. thing you said was, please let my green card be for me. Yeah. <laughs> he was worried about his green card. He was done. I remember my, my status. My, my, he was ready to get sent back. He didn't want to go back. He took all that good shit. No, 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 not that. I was making sure. Ooh. He wouldn't get kicked out. Together. It's like I'm happy here. <laughs> he wouldn't get kicked out. Let me tell you something. If they would have asked my green card, you know what I would have did? What? I'm, I'm from Philly, you know what I mean? I ain't no damn African f*** out of here, nigga. Y'all tripping, dog. I'm from Southwest. Man, f*** the bullshit, nigga. Southwest Philly, nigga, how I kiss my ass, man. Why, because I'm dark-skinned, nigga? Y'all crazy, nigga. Exactly, motherfucker. I'll so, switch up so on the nigga. So what else happened? We're on the ground. Guns up. They're, they're reading the license plate. Whose car is this, right? Now, that's when, while we're on the floor, while we lay on the floor, buck like, you know, uh, turn them my name is Aziz White. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? First of all, <laughs> what a, a Muslim man doing a name called Aziz White? Yeah. Buck is Muslim. I'm like, what's your real name? 
This this said who's who's car is this? I said buck. <laughs> Not to the police. <laughs> buck. <laughs> they said buck what? Buck the f wild. We don't know this. Name. Yeah, we don't know this nigga. Fuck wild. But he's like, I'm a Z-Swite. Uh, he's like, I'm a Z-Swite. He's like, tell him I'm, I'm a Z-Swite. Z-Swite. I don't know who the f*** is a Z-Swite. Oh, God. When, uh, when, when, who, uh? yeah. And what happened? So what, what the police say? We all did. So now, they're like, where, where y'all going? What's going on? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm a comedian officer. You know, um, my headshots are in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> he, had shit. He, was, he was a real life comedian. He had, he had a box of headshots. <laughs> he was doing this shit the real way. Everybody have a different version of the story. Everybody try to make this say I was a bitch, <laughs> bitch in. You know, I think I was a hero that day. <laughs> He's a hero. Yeah. <laughs> Little nigga Cam hero. was more of the bitch. Yeah, well, what Cam was doing? You know. He, Goddamn buck, man. How you gonna put us in the goddamn situation I did, man? Goddamn buck. Fuck, I ain't fucking with you no more. Goddamn <laughs> get up. I'm done with your ass. Don't ever come in no more. I've got shit to do. Goddamn. That's buck. Terrell just like, you know what I mean? Just everybody had their own. Terrell's more calm. Kev was pissed. I was pissed at this. Nigga. I said, listen, I don't want nothing to ever do with you again. But let me just ask you a question. Would you have been not as mad if you wasn't driving? <laughs> The fact he set you up and had you driving. Yeah, yeah, definitely, because now it look like I'm the nigga with the stolen property. <laughs> yeah. That's first. So now I'm got I got put my hands up and come out the car, walk backwards. Like you, you know, you've been in jail plenty yeah, of time. I've been in jail plenty of time. You know how about hey, put your hands I never, up more. Put your hands up. I never put that into perspective. That's why he was worried about the key <laughs> car. Because he's like, the fuck out of driving. Get out stolen. the car, step back. Put your hands up. Do you know what? But, but why Buck, Buck told you they was going to shoot you? Buck, yeah, yeah. Being Kev, it's like, yo, they're going to shoot if you, if you make the wrong move. You make one wrong move when they, when they got the guns on Buck, you. Buck Imagine if I would have did that. I've been shot dead. Buck, Buck and Kev told you that? Yeah, this is going to get shot, Mike. Uh, Listen uh, to them. Like, because they, they said move <laughs> forward. I'm moving backwards. He's scared to death. He don't know what's going on. I don't Kev, know what's going on. Kev and Buck, like, this thing so scared. Shoot they, you. Like, they was walk forward. Well, he walking back. Exactly. Kev and them, though, they they be like, yeah, they gonna shoot you. They, they laughing at this. Yeah, they on the ground. Everybody laugh. They laughing. So what? So y'all end up going to jail? We end up going to the uh the, in Newark, New Jersey. They, they took the car, got us all in the, in the police thing. You know, now, now ain't even the end of it. Right while we on the right before they they came towards us, Buck had a bunch of fake money in his pocket. What? This the throws the money. Yeah, you laughing? But he threw the money in the bushes. Right? <laughs> the <laughs> cops like, ah, right, buddy, you, you drop your money. Pick the money up, give that shit back to the n- He trying to get rid of the fake money. The cop give him right back to them, give him that money. Hey, I think you dropped this. We, we, they got us all in the holding cell together in Newark, New Jersey. Listen, Buck crazy. Buck still got this money. He still think we about to go get a search. Guess what the n- start to do? Eat the fucking money. <laughs> eat the money, asking us to eat case. money with him. He's like, yo, help me get rid of this money. Money, you have to choose some money. I'm like, fuck you, I'm not hungry, motherfucker. I'm not eating no fucking <laughs> mouth green and blue. <laughs> Chewing fake money. You serious, <laughs> Buck? You know, and then, it, I mean, they looked everything up and, and uh, realized that, you know, just a st- st- stolen whatever. And Played then we, the car wasn't even, they played didn't even match the car. Played didn't even match the car. They, that plate went to like a, we was driving a Maxima, and that shit went to like a 84 Chevy Cavalier, motherfucker. Yeah, this right. is, you ain't shit. So why you? Oh, no, I think it was an 86 Lexus. That the fucking car outside, that's what that plate belonged to. Yeah. This was an 86 Lexus um, LS 400. Is that what you yes. got? Blue. Yeah. Yeah. That's your car. Oh, no, I, I see that wrong. I want my money and all oh. that shit. It's they in his pocket. I know you got a roll on you. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, I you yeah, got a yeah, roll. to me. Uh-uh. I keep some wham. You know yeah. what wham is? Walk wham, around wham, money. Wham, baby. Yeah, I mean that W-A-M. I keep some walk around yeah. money, baby. Yeah, now, me. now. You want to see my walk around money? Yeah. yeah Pull it out. Where my purse is? Oh, Lord. Mm. You got to go. Is she is keeps it away. Lord, Lord have this. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, that that came up with, now, hey, listen. <laughs> that came up with a, a bag and some tissues. He said, You bitch is going to be crying. <laughs> but she pulled this motherfucker yeah, money out. Look at all. Oh. Double Lancy. Look at it. She got Vaseline in it. Just yeah. in case a bitch got a fight. Hold on. Yeah, let me put some put Vaseline this, on. This, this, this my do. walk around money. That is, oh, you got more than I'm that just in playing. there. She got that wham, that wham skin in. Wait, why you got a. See, this one I'm talking about. She had a drug dealer dreams. Why she got this in the plastic bag in the bag? That's about. She got El Chapo dreams. What the f? There's all hundreds right here. It's some more hundreds. That's all hundreds. That's that, listen. That's can I, can I just let, listen in the bag dirty. Can I just bag hold dirty. it. You just got. <laughs> that's but, the bag she had to why say, the f you got? Oh, she got two dollar bill. Man. Can just, she, yeah, she, you can get the two dollar bill. No, keep that. Hold on. No, I got a lot of these. Me too. 
You want one too? Yeah, give me one. I was passing these out anyway. Period. It's, like it's good luck, they listen, said. This is how you know I'm not bullshit, right? What? I'm going to show y'all how you know I'm not bullshit. It's never coming out my wallet. Somebody got a pen. I'm going to get it to sign this. Right? Period. This is how you know I'm not bullshit. Look. Pen. This is how you know I'm not bullshit. What's that? This already in my wallet. I gave Two you them. Of them. I gave you them. This is <laughs> how you know I'm not bullshit. I gave you them. Now I got one from Red. Period. You gotta get Big that. Red. I'm going to sign it. What's wrong with I'm you? I'm going to sign it. Oh, yeah. You Yo, give me that. Uh, with me. I got I to gotta be... Sp- don't worry about it. That's we beautiful. That. We send our fire alarm. They said the fire alarm. They said the fire alarm off in this Damn. month. It keep happening. Oh, y'all do that all the time, huh? Man. <laughs> Every city. Every city y'all send the fire alarm. Man, they said the fire alarm off in the club. We got kicked out plenty of hotels. <laughs> Forever, that's crazy. How many hotels? We done got kicked out plenty of hotels. Like, it's really not a good thing to smoke in your hotel room because you get a fine every time you smoke. Nah, what the fuck? Yeah, I done ran like. Yeah, literally a million on smoking fees. Lot of, like, lot of fees on damn, damn. but that's just crazy. No, like, it be sometimes when we go countries like I be like, you really need to step outside. You know what I'm saying? I get no, to, you're cool. Like like today, like I'm no, super, you cool. I'm a super on time person. I be trying to be like chilling and low key as shit. So I'll smoke outside. So we be smoking in the room. We get kicked out the hotel. Everybody get kicked out. I be like, God damn. <laughs> And then, like, Everybody in room that's attached to that credit card. Yeah, like, that shit be so, it be fun though, man. It be some rock star. Some so rock star the next day. It be fun. Today, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, well, usually, if I, I go down to the front desk and ask them, like, let me just ask y'all a question: If I smoke in my room, is y'all gonna kick me out, or y'all just yeah. gonna charge me? Type some people take it more severely than others. You know what I mean? What type and, of rights is that? And so, some of them be like, "No, we will just charge you." All right, take that charge off right now. That two fifty, that five hundred. Yeah, whatever yeah. it is, it was, I'm take that off. Off right now, you feel someone might come to your door. Say, this is are you smoking this? This is a no smoking hotel, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all want to try to get the balcony because he's a master of the balconies. The balcony, them them just come in handy, they're the best ones. He loves the balcony, but a lot lot of of times, still smoking the room, literally. Yeah, Yeah. but a lot of times, too, smoking the wrong guy. Yeah, a lot of times, too, the the, the best hotels don't have balconies. Yeah, that's suicide, that's suicide. I'm gonna be jumping off them. You know what I mean? Yeah, the best ones don't. The best hotels That's don't right. be having balconies. The Four Seasons, the, mm-hmm. the Omnis. Like like the... hmm? Give me one star under that. That's the, a vibe. The four. I got, I got the balcony no. thing. See, I'm on, I'm that's on me. Hey. Hell no. Nah. Five star. See, that's me right there. Give me one star See, I'm the five star, but I'm the Four too. Seasons. I'm, I'm, five, five star only. I'm, I'm the Satai. Yeah. St. Yeah. Regis. Yeah. Like, me, I'm Marriott LAX Airport. East Miami. <laughs> I, I, I ain't hit the, at the LAX Airport, Jen. That's like, I'm like right here. Lenny Kravitz Suite. I'm like, three, four. That's perfect. Lenny Kravitz Suite. I'm Marriott up LAX up Airport Sunset with the balcony. Sunset Marquise. <laughs> Sunset Marquise. I, I, I ain't going to lie. I, I, I think I'm banned from them. What? <gasps> You smoked them out. Nah. You go right outside and smoke the hallway. It's like outside. I used to throw. I used to be. I I used to have they crazy parties. And, uh, no, I used to have crazy parties, man. And the Sunset Marquis. Yeah, and they kicked me out. They, they that's, a, me. that's a nice show. Yeah. What what, what city doesn't we stay? L A. L A. Okay. That's, that's one of my favorite hotels I've ever stayed in. Though. What is the Sunset Marquis? Yeah, the that's restaurant like, right there. Man, the studio crazy. downstairs. The pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, the studio downstairs was unbelievable. Yeah, that was nice. They got multiple studios. Marriott too far. Yeah. In addition, if I. The yeah. addition, huh? Stupid fire. Oh, yeah, LA. the addition. In, in, yeah. That's in Miami, ain't it? LA. They yeah. probably yeah. got one yeah. in Miami. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 They got them in, in New, New York. York. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that's uh, a list. The best one in Miami. A vibe, though. For me, I don't know. I like the one. The one hotel. Yeah. You probably didn't hear, but I told you, I said, man, when I was telling you, don't disrespect your blessings, and you go to the joint and everybody the f*** gone. Do you remember that? Fine. Fine, you call this with a Motorola, man. But didn't I tell Something you? you called it. This call is from a federal prison. It go back to like, man, like, it's all be like our stories already be written out. You know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. was already planned. Yeah. I'm talking, then it's like, like a pedestal, you know, and it's going to be bigger than ever when I get back on top of it. This could have saved me. But you know everybody, what? I, I know everybody could have been gone. I could have been one of them too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So Real it's talk. like. I was headed for destruction. I ain't see nothing but my way or no way. Real talk. But you know what I'm happy about, man? I'm happy that we was able to give you something that even though you're going through the, your darkest moments in your life, 
is still something that you can look back and appreciate. Like, damn, them, them old heads were some solid niggas, man. They were some old niggas who, right, they were some old who seen where I was slipping, and they, they tried to tell me, hey, listen, man, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now that you got a clear mind, you can look back and be like, damn, they were some solid niggas that really damn. gave me some motherfucking game, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all flowers, why y'all can still smell them off? Like, y'all solid, bro. Keep it raw and uncut with me, you know what I'm saying? No feelings, none of that involved. Just raw and uncut. And I was, and I will always call you and check up on you. I'd be like, yo, what's up, man? What you doing, man? You'd be like, I'm chilling, though. Yeah, man, what's going I'm on? I'm chilling. You'd be telling me, I'm chilling. I'm like, yeah, yeah all right. Nigga. I just seen you on the gram, man. Stop that dumb shit. You'd be like, no, that was I'm chilling. That was, you won't tell me one time, that wasn't me. I said, nigga. I just seen you, man. What the fuck is you doing, now? No, I'm telling you, that wasn't me, huh? Oh. I said, this is crazy, Gil. Look. Hey, he come show me some shit to you. He come show me some shit to you and say, guess what he told me? That wasn't him. I said, damn, boy. No. Oh, he high, high. I didn't think it was high, man. I said, what the fuck is you doing, man? I mean, I said, this is crazy, man. But you, but you know, you live and you learn, man. You live and you learn. And, um... Uh, uh, I just, I just hope a lot of youngins learn from it, cause we ain't none of us too big for our blessings to be snatched from us when we disrespect our blessings. You know, yeah. we got to take it to. You took that shit from the mic to the movies. Mm, yeah. How the f was that pivot? Like, how did so, you? I, I mean, the real story is that you know, I went up to the record company one day, and I said, "Yo, um, looking to do a new album." You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had a couple of moves I wanted to make financially. I'm like, so I'd like to get an advance on the next album and get going. And the dude I was talking to kind of hmm, did this. Yeah. And as soon as he did that, I said, okay. When he did that, I went and did a TV show. That ain't nothing to talk about. You start adjusting your butt cheeks in a chair like you learned a <laughs> piano. Like, I, I'm trying to get some money. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like, <laughs> So, so, so to all the youngins out there, don't don't skip over that game he just yo, yo, gave. You know what I mean? You go into all oh the next and something adjusts his butt cheeks. Yeah, you start adjusting his uh, moving and uh, repositioning and all that like, kind of shit. I'm like, you know what I mean? He started repositioning. So when I, when I saw that, I said, you know what? Okay. And I told him what I want. Oh, we can't. Okay. No problem. So I got with, um, you know. If you don't mind, how much you asking for? Um, I don't even remember at that time. It might have been a million, two million. I don't know what it was. It was, yeah. it was a decent amount. It was a decent amount. I was getting, it was fine at that point. Um, we was getting plenty, you know what I mean? But I um I went and got with uh Quincy Jones. Yeah. And I said, um, you know, told him what, you know, he said, you know, he had done the, the TV show with Will Smith, mm -hmm. him and David Salzman, made yeah. David Salzman rest in peace. And um, I was like, Mr. Jones, who was like a mentor to me, you know what I'm saying? He was like like he became like a mentor to me. I'm like, you know, he started talking to me. We started talking. One thing led to another. He said, let's do a TV show. I went and did it. So I went and did the show. Show comes on the air. You know, six months to a year go by. You know, I'm, I'm out here. I'm doing the thing, whatever, doing the show. I get a call from the record company. Y'all, show doing good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at the phone. I got this, motherfucker. I said, okay, yeah. what's up? And that's the same dude that, that was adjusting his butt. Same dude. Hey, he told him to readjust your ass down same to the dude. Other, back to the other same side. Same dude, pulled his wedgie all the way out. <laughs> and we had a conference. We was able to have a real conversation, like gentlemen, and it, it worked out for the best. And, and you know what? And I'm not saying that to be cocky or arrogant or anything, but I'm saying that to say this. A smart rabbit has more than one hole. You got to give yourself options. You know what I'm saying? You got to give yourself options, B. So now I have so many things going on that I have options. So, you know, if, if, if I quote a number, it's a real number. I'm not bluffing. Right. I'm flexible. I'm right. not arrogant. Right. I'm not going to ever try to charge more than I think I'm worth in the marketplace, but right. I definitely want that market value. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm not an asshole. I'm not, I'm not a moron. I don't play games. I don't, you know, right. I don't play stick them up because right. that won't work either because right. you, your career will be over. Right. But, Okay, I just like to be reasonable with people. We trying to make history and we trying to leave money here for people we never going to meet. What kind of history are y'all trying to make, man? History of history of this. Everything is possible. You, you know, go back to the name of your book. You know what I mean? Um, Straight Shooter. 
you know, a memoir for second chances and first takes. History is already made. I spent 20 years in prison. I've been out of jail five years. It's already made. But we add no one to it to educate these young people that everybody got a shout out here, man. And you got to believe in yourself. And, you know, and there's multiple things that we teach from different perspectives. But one of mine is it costs too much to be a criminal. It's cool to be smart. And the history of having a platform that wasn't out here. Mm-hmm. We filled the void in the market. Nobody was messing with the young boys. No platform. I don't care who they, they didn't mess with the young boys. And it was even some of our people from hip hop or black people because they felt as though, oh, them dangerous. They this, F the young boys. They don't, because they was disconnecting. The young boys might didn't respect them right. because they wasn't communicating with the young boys. They was talking down to the young boys. Mm-hmm. So we created something that's making history because we have an outlet for the younger cats to understand and get information from Steve. Why you think I said and asked you, how do they come about doing this? We put information out there. Information that the people that the world forgot about is our audience, yeah. and they tapping into it, and they like, damn. Mm-hmm. Well, I go to a temple. I'm going for communications. I look, I look at their podcasts all the time for whatever they look at it, but now you're giving them game, and that's what it's about, the history of creating something that, that talk to people and give them information, nanosecond messaging. Mm-hmm. Quick, wherever you're on social media, wherever you're here, where they're able to get digestible information, not this, this long, drawn-out thing, because we're living in a time where as though people's attention spans like this. You think I got time to be figuring out all this? A person to go to your show or go to any of your show, and they speed it up to where they, their team, what they need to hear. Because you know why? It's a battle for attention. I know I got to watch this on Netflix every week. I know I got to watch my team game every week. I know I got to listen to this music. I know I got to watch this podcast. People already got their spaces booked in their life every week, just Ooh. like you do. Yeah. You got your spaces. So it's like we're trying to create information where wherever it's about life, wherever it's about relationships, wherever it's about staying out of the street game, wherever it's about. That's our history, creating that space for people to come and get information in a nanosecond. Well, my response to that would be this. I hope you realize that makes you more important than somebody like me. Because, see, the, tr- the path that I had to travel, although it was conventional, one of the things that make people uncomfortable, I never went to prison. Mm-hmm. I never committed crimes. That's cool. The reason why, though, is because the criminals were the ones who protected me. That's how it was back in the day. In mm-hmm. Hollis, I'm from Hollis, Queens. Right. Hollis, Queens. I'm from Hollis, Queens. Yes, sir. All they right? see you doing something oh, right, they like, leave him alone. They, 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 not only that, they slapped me upside my damn head get if I thought about doing something Get your ass to school. Right. Get your ass home. But that was what we grew up in. They watched my back. And, right? Right. and so my point to you is that you got a lot of cats. And, and one of the things that I would say to a lot of youngsters out there, as, as, as both of y'all are spinning game on everybody, is this. It's very important they understand this. Somebody criticizing what you do is different than criticizing who you are. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you see somebody doing something stupid, there's a difference between saying that's stupid and and you're stupid. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Because if they said you're stupid, you got a right to be offended. Mm -hmm. You got a right not to want to listen to them. Mm -hmm. You got a right not to want them in your circle. But if they say to you that's stupid, they're telling you why it's stupid. Right. And that way you know what stupid is and you know how to avoid it. And you don't end up repeating the stupid <laughs> act that you got called out on the carpet for. Yes. And a lot of times, you got a lot of cats that they don't want to listen. And they point to whatever hard life that they had, whatever hard circumstances that they had to endure, not realizing a lot of us did it. Just some of us got away with it and some of us, of us did it. it. Yes. Right. And at the end of the day, somebody like you guys come along and doing the big things that y'all are doing. It's important that they understand, listen, if they came to me. Based on what y'all telling me, if I had cats come to me and they were looking at me right now, Ms. Smith, we want your advice or whatever, I would be like, did you talk to them? Because, hey, I can give you this corporate American mm-hmm. joint. Right. Yeah. And the mind feels you got to maneuver your way through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you coming from here, there's a path that you got to travel and you ain't trying to hear what I have to say right. until somebody like y'all comes along mm-hmm. and says, excuse me, that's the path you got to travel before you get to this point. See, and I'm not talking about levels. I'm just right. talking about yeah. a path. I'm oh, sorry. Don't worry about that. I'm just talking about a path that you got to travel and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I just want y'all to know that is very, very important. It's like it's great that y'all are doing big things with this podcast, but I don't, I don't want it to be minimized. Oh no, yeah. I don't want it to be minimized in any way. How important it is that y'all are doing what you're doing. And by the way, it's it's the job of people like myself and others to help y'all be. 
even more successful. Oh, you do. Y'all always have our clips on it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's our job. It's, it's our job. We appreciate that. that, man. It really that. is. It we really is. We appreciate that. You know, we, we look up, and a lot of times y'all might use a clip that we had yeah. from the show with an athlete, and we appreciate yeah. that. You no know doubt. What I'm so, no doubt. And that's what it's about. And that's why it's like, man, it's just important uh, that we just keep keep creating. But just you giving that information up, you don't understand how many people that go going to school for communications yeah. is going to watch this and be like, damn. He gave me the game. He really put the and work in. And there's all forms of communication. There's all forms. You can write. You can talk. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot of different Content. things in communications. You know how many lawyers work in our business? Accountants work, work in, in our your business? business. Yeah. I mean, there's, there are people from they all, all marketing. Yeah. Marketing. <laughs> everything Without is in sports. Question. Sports Without need anything. But my whole thing is like this, though. It's like he said something very important. They know people be knowing what time it is. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and let me say this. They don't believe it. That's either. why, that's why you gotta respect somebody like Errol Spence. Exactly. You gotta respect gotta him respect because him. he took a nice ass with him, man. Just keeping it real. And he was not stopping. And he was not stopping. He gave it everything he got, and then he activated his rematch clause. Because he's a you dog. You gotta respect a dog. like that. You I gotta bet. be like. I bet you. Dog, salute, because you really a dog. You really, bro, in boxing, bro, the worst thing you could do in boxing, bro, is go out on your stool. I don't want to fight no more. That's like the ultimate. I am. He didn't do that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even when the ref was like, Errol was like, like, what you mean? Like, good like, dog, it's over, bro. He, he had a better night than you tonight. You, so... You can't, you can't, you gotta, you gotta respect Shakur because don't a call tank out and just trying to get a payday. Know they going to sleep. He really think he going to win. It's a difference. You gotta respect Boots because Bud is a bad mother. But Boots would take that fight at the drop of a dime. Like, let's go. Because I'm willing, if you beat me on that night, I'm willing to say, you a bad mother. Facts, facts. You got me. Facts. It, you feel what I'm saying? And that's really what sports is about. What's the the best playing the best, the best fighting the best, the, the best game? against the best. And then at the end of the day, we might talk we might, him and Tank, they, they, they go back and forth. They had a dispute. After, I guarantee you, after they get in that ring and they throw punches at each other, when that motherfucking bell go ding, they both going to go. Because it's a sign of respect. Like, no, we got to hear You a dog. You a dog. Too. So at the end of the day, man, this is about selling fights and making money. That's and it. Why your time is here? Stage, y'all gotta capitalize to make the most, most money, money in your life that y'all can possibly make, man. But it's hard to do that when everybody is scared. Like, only way, I feel like only way somebody gonna fight me if I go have a bad performance. Absolutely. If you that's go in there and you get touched somebody, up, that's the only way. Somebody everybody gonna come. And that's not happening. Hey. <laughs> everybody gonna come looking for you. You go in there, you Facts. get touched up. Facts. Because let's be for real. What fight was it after Isai Cruz first fight with Tank? You see a bunch of motherfuckers start to call Tank out. Cause that was the, like one of the first things you seen that he didn't ice, he didn't, so he was like, oh, wait. So that's how it go. You go in there, you have a, a little, you, Dev go in there, he get rocked with one punch by Lenaris and do a little walk over to the corner, get his shit together. He cooled the rest of the fight. But they still looking at that like, I got a shot at him. Boots go in there, he fighting that ran for 12 rounds straight. Yeah. I'm talking about nonstop. That's stop. different though. This nigga was in the best shape of his life. That's different though. You feel what I'm saying? He, he won every round and just talk shit like. Nah, but people still knew Boots was a dangerous. Yeah, but but still the media still talk shit. Oh, for sure. He, he didn't put on a performance. Bro, I just fought a, That's the a, life we live. another professional grown man that didn't throw no punches, didn't give me no opportunities for counter punches, and all he did was run from side to side. And then he get in there with Vila. V, I'm going to say this. Ooh, he Vila. smoked. Oh, but hold, hold, hold. Well, let me say this. We was in the back when it was over. This boy Vila, he's a different type of monster. He wasn't taking the wheelchair. He just was on some, 
he 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 was a savage man. Seeing that fight and seeing how he just kept going, kept going. And that's kept, a perfect example of somebody who got in the ring and lost. And lost. And I left that arena. He put it on the line, and you I respect that. I left that arena with. I left that a lot arena of a Villa fan. Yep. Like that is a gangster. Facts. He took a hellacious whooping and did not fool, did not give quit, up, nothing. did not quit. And Kept trying. I left the arena with more respect for the dude. So, okay. That's why I respect Earl so much. I think Earl is a monster. A He's yeah. a legend. People got to give He's Earl a monster. Spence his respect because Earl Spence is a legend. Right, his absolutely. mentality is it comes second to none. Right. Nobody has that mentality you got. Nobody. 